Hello everybody, Bob6983 here. We're back for some more Rhythm Thief and the Emperor's Treasure. In the last episode, my hopes, my dreams, my entire reality crumbled before me. That freaking poodle! <laughs> We played the optional rhythm games that were remaining. And in this episode, we're going to go to the sword bone to see if we can find the Duchess Elizabeth. Without further ado, let's jump right in. Okay. Come on, get your game face on. Okay. New people. Hello, monsieur. You look like a man who needs a pet chicken. Aren't they just adorable? You didn't think they were just for eating, did you? Cover your ears, my sweeties. What do you have to say? I have the finest cuts of beef, lamb, venison, anything but chicken. The mere sound of my boof sizz... I don't know if I think that's, I think that's the right word, boof. Sizzling will have your mouth a water. What do you say, monsieur? Oh, that's right. You can also get the wine bottle from here as well. Professor Allen doesn't seem to be here today. But you can also get the bell again. Let's talk to you. I remember you. Hello, I'm looking for Professor Allen. Professor Allen? We don't have time for that now. Professor Remy's on the loose. You mean the rat? Oh, not, I'm thinking of the wrong character. How many times do I have to say it, Professor Remy? Enough is enough. Oh, but my dear Rosalie, it's only been three hours I could talk about French music for days. And that's just the problem. None of the students want to listen to this every time you have a fight with your wife. Is that my problem or this? <laughs> All I'm saying is that as the premier scholar of music at the university, those who make good music are good. And those who make bad music are bad. Whether or not I had a fight with my wife has nothing to do with it. Now, what was I? Ah, yes, I hadn't even finished my introduction. That was the girl who helped me find the professor. We should help her out. Mm, who are you? You to listen to my lecture too. The most merrier, the more the merrier, I suppose. <laughs> we just left. Last night, I was telling my wife the very same thing, and the next thing I knew, she had slipped down. I must have upset her. Poor Fondue. <laughs> they, they left me here. How am I supposed to get away now? Now, where was I? I wonder what kind of person this professor's wife is. Someone who can, ex someone who can escape his talks has to be fit and agile. Well... Had you talked to this woman before, she would have said, come back to visit me when you're a, a little older. Like, because she was talking about like her shows and something like that. She's a bit, I, I don't know. I wouldn't say scandalous, but like, I guess her shows, I guess are meant for adults. But um, we're going to go to where the, 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 the little chick sound effect is. But we have to talk to Rosalie, I believe. Oh, my dear wife, how could you let such a little thing upset you? This report is terrible. D. Hmm. I wonder how long it will take him to snap out of it this time. Or is it you? Professor Remy is quite the famous music instructor here at the Sorbonne. He's head over heels in love with his wife. He'll drop everything if he so much as senses her nearby. It's terrible when he's had a fight with her. If you... If you cross him the next day, you'll be stuck listening to him for hours. This is secret between you and me. I hear Professor Women's... Oh my gosh, hang on. I need to sneeze. I'm sorry. <coughs> oh my gosh. I hear Professor Women's... Remy's wife. I'm sorry. I can't even say her, his name. Is a professional dancer. When you see her in town, you will notice her straight away. But it is in fact over here at Petit Pont. This lady here... She gives you the kiss. Ooh, you have the cutest little doggy. I hope he knows better than to kiss and tell. What would my honey say? <laughs> my husband's a typical jealous type. If he hears the sound of kissing, he will be over in a flash. The show will begin soon. 
Please come and see my show once you get a little older. And we get the kiss sound effect. And there's a little chick down here. Hi, little chick. All right, let's go back to the Sorbonne. And let's play the kiss sound effect, shall we? Hello, that sound. Where, where is it? That dulce tone of the sweetest lips so full of love. My precious wife, my beloved. Let us speak together of music and love. I don't have an attractive male voice. <laughs> you, thank you so much. That professor's really out of control. Speaking of which, did you ever manage to talk with Professor Allen? Yes, but I actually need to speak with him again. Oh, okay. Well, I don't think he's gone to sleep quite yet today. I'll call him right away. There's the man. Oh, yes. I was wondering who was calling on me. I'm sorry. When I am awake, I don't have my throat clear usually. I was wondering who was calling on me. You're that boy from the other day. Thank you for your help, by the way. Did you find the other information about the Queen's Pet that you were looking for? Yes, it took a bit of doing, though. I see, I see. Well, all's well that ends well, eh? Nothing better than doing the research yourself, I say. So how can I help you today? Actually... Oh, never mind. <laughs> My bad. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry I was um, mimicking you, Professor Allen. Actually, it's related to the pendant. But I was wondering if you could tell me how to find Duchess Elizabeth. You're looking for Duchess, the Duchess's moms? Yes, there's something I need to find out, and she's really the only person I can ask. Mm, the Queen's pendant, the Duchess Elizabeth, and the bracelet you wear. No points to... Ah! I'm guessing you already know quite a bit. No harm in telling you more. The Duchess's moms is very close to the market. It's quite large. For the moms' size, it's easy to overlook. Still, if you go to the right place, you're sure to find it. Essentially, we have been passing it each and every time we go to the market. You can see it. It's right there. The big building right there next to the market. It's right there. But I guess without further ado, let's go to the malls. The mansion, I guess, is the right word. That's just malls is mansion. Who knew such a huge building was here? Well, Raphael, if you looked at the map for all of two seconds, you maybe would have seen it. Maybe that's a servant. Let's try to let's try talking to her. But before we do that, Crow. Speaking of Crow, um, oh, damn. Speaking of Crow, um. Oh, by the way, that's a little technique that I just learned a while back. First and foremost, the phantom notes are on all the windows. But if you, um, if you move the screen and then tap on it as you're moving it, it will stop immediately where you left it off like that. So that way you can grab all of them. It's really tricky to time it, but like you just move the arrow and then like as it's moving, you stop it by tapping on the screen. But as I was saying about Crow, um, that reminds me of Yu-Gi-Oh 5D. Um, there's a character named Crow and like... When I was young, I didn't really understand anything about Yu-Gi-Oh, but I was like, oh, cool, they're on motorcycles and they're battling. It's kind of like Pokemon, but on bikes. So I was like super intrigued by it. And then like um, the person that Crow was fighting, um, I don't remember what it was, but like I do, it was like, um, um, like the villains had like the, um, I don't remember what they're called, but like, it's like the, the lines on like the earth that are like supposedly made by aliens or some shit like that. And I just remember really liking um, Yu-Gi-Oh 5D just because I was like, oh, these characters are really cool. And then there's even like one of these, um, one of these creatures that kind of looks like Kyogre and Kyogre is my favorite legendary. This is so cool. I honestly don't remember what those like things in the in the earth are called. Hang on, let me look it up really quickly. I'm sorry to like go on like a mini tangent on this episode, but I really want to look that up. Um, animals, um, animal line art on the earth. I guess is the right way to look it up if you don't know how to like say it. Um. 
no wait, creature outlines on the earth. I, I can't find it. Um, Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D. Um, they're called Earthbound Immortals. Yes, I do remember that. What are they based off of? Um, Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D Earthbound Immortals uh, based on... The Nazca lines, that's right. I remembered it had something to do with like cars and I was just like, uh, I don't know what they're called, but they're called Nazca lines. I don't know why the freaking conversation went from Crow to Crow from Yu-Gi-Oh to Nazca lines. <laughs> but um, yeah, I remember it being like a super cool concept and I was like super like um, drawn in by all of all of this. And I was just like, what is this card called? Earthbound Immortal Chaku Chalua, I think is the name of it. Um, it's like a whale kind of, it just kind of reminded me of Kyogre. And I was like, oh, I love this show now. I rewatched it recently and I was just like, uh, well, it's cool. But then I just stopped for whatever reason. Anyways, enough on this tangent. I went way too far with it. Let's talk to you. Excuse me, I was hoping to meet with Duchess Elizabeth. Do you have an appointment? Uh, no. I'm sorry, but we cannot accept visitors without prior arrangements. Serves me right for trying the front door. Ooh, sounds like somebody hasn't eaten yet. Oh my, I beg your pardon. Maybe she'll go grab a bite to eat if she feels a little hungrier. Remember what that chef said. Everybody, and he means business. Everybody comes from all around. Can I interest Monsieur in a juicy steak for tonight? I have the finest cuts of beef, lamb, Venetian, anything but chicken. The mere sound of my booth sizzling will have your mouth a water. What do you say, Monsieur? And we get the sizzle sound effect. Fondue, I'm afraid we won't be buying any. Aw, I'm sorry, Fondue. Next time. With this sound, maybe I can make that help her even more hungry. Next time, Fondue, you will have your moment to have some meat. But let's go ahead and I don't know where it, exactly that's. Oh, here it is. Oh, somebody's texting me. Give me a moment. Oh, uh, excuse me for a moment. Uh, somebody needs me. Uh, I will be right back. I am back. Apologies for that. Um, my parents needed something. Um, more so my dad was just unsure about an email. And I was just like, oh, well, that's that's this is that. He's like, oh, OK. Yeah, I just kind of re needed to reassure to them like, yeah, it's something to worry about. But yeah, I'm back. Anyways, that's, I guess, voice her over. I can't, can't resist the sound of fresh meat. I know it's not my break time yet, but a girl has to eat. Wow, I don't, I don't, I don't think even we run that fast, Fondue. Bruh, Fondue, how, how are you, how are you going to be making puns like that? You know how she feels, huh? Well, tough luck. We're on important business. Keep sharp, Fondue. Sorry, buddy. Okay. Go ahead and go in here. I believe I should be good for seven more minutes. All right. This is basically looting the Louvre or um, the one where you're sneaking past the constabulary. Both of them merged into this one. Just letting you know. It is that same. It is those two. But... They flip-flop between the two, I guess is the best way to say it. Uh, which one should be the best? Uh, this one, I think. Um, just letting you all know. It will go from fast to slow and fast and slow. I'm just letting you know. It will change. I think you all can do this without an item. It's pretty easy. What mystery lies ahead? 
On with Mondu. Go. See, now we're slow. And then it will swap over to fast again. Three. See? Now that you know the gimmick, I'm pretty sure you all will be able to do this perfectly. It's just every now and then the guards will have the lights on, or there's a certain area that has the lights on. And sometimes there's areas that have the lights off. I guess it's the best way to describe it. Oh my gosh, I completely forgot that I gave these poses names. The Thinker. Two. The Frieza. I don't know what that one is. Maybe the Fabulous Pose, I don't know. And then the red one's the Dab. All right, here we go. I guess the yellow one could also be like that pose that they do in the Jojo part four opening or ending. Two. Yeah. Frick, this is the only time I've messed up ever on that. Three. Hopefully I can make it back. No, damn it. Ah, I started talking about Jojo and I messed up. Aha. That one's, that one pissed me off. I like that rhythm game. I never mess up on that one. Man. Oh, well, it is what it is. Uh, as I was saying, kind of reminds me of like the Jojo, um, Jojo part for our opening, like the last opening where they're all pointing upwards. It's like, uh, let the voice of love take you higher. And everybody just points upwards. <laughs> 